Special shout out to one Pop Rocks 101. You made this show relevant again. <laughs> Wait, was he the guy that started the sound effects meme? Yeah, pretty much. And, well, we're going to celebrate by looking at a couple of Ed and Nettie games. Uh, starting with uh, one that I'm not going to lie isn't terribly good. It's Ed and Nettie in Jawbreakers for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, I remember hearing about this one a long time ago, but I, I oh. heard it wasn't really that great of a game. I love how Ed actually looks at the titles flowing behind them. <laughs> it's like, are we in a game, Eddie? It seems so. It seems so, guys. Yeah, but on that note, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jawbreakers. Yeah, much like Celia, I've only heard about this one in passing. Like, I didn't actually get a, get a chance to play it myself up until, well, my pirating day. Yaho, yahar. And, um, I mean, it was an interesting experiment, but at the same time, it's like... Yeah, I can see why this game didn't really take off. Yeah. Mm. Wait, where's Logan? Logan, uh, he has a life. And a car. He's out, yeah. out trying to find a car, which these guys desperately need. <laughs> that was right. just fine some day, Eddie. Observe the solitude of the coal sack. The aroma of fresh cut grass. Which I'm, which I'm convinced was ripped straight from an episode. It stinks. I'm bored. I forgot to wear my underwear. la <laughs> la Good day, Jimmy. What have you got there? Probably a good thing we have all we have four people. Hello, hello, Ed. I got my raffle ticket. Oh my god. <laughs> raffle ticket? For what? And yeah, pay no mind to our the fact we There's can't first base characters from the store that went a whole juicy box of jawbreakers. Did you say jawbreakers? A box of jawbreakers? <laughs> That's right, but they're not just any jawbreakers. These jawbreakers are supposed to last forever, but just one of those will never need to buy. Jawbreakers again. You better hurry. Tickets are going fast. Mm. That already sounds like a bad plotline for an Ed Eddie episode. I know, right? Mm. Let's go, Eddie! <laughs> to the candy store! Yeehaw! Oh, well, one man. thing I'll say right off. <laughs> Double D's face. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, hey, Double well, D just wants out of this dumb, this dumb picture. Yeah, he usually does. But speaking of pictures, that is one thing I'll give the game so far. It looks like it did a pretty adequate job of capturing the art style of the show. Yeah, what? Yeah. Even though I, I swear it kind of feels like something a little more like in, in its early years. So, um, yeah, yeah. with um, Et, so in this game, the best way I can describe it is that it's basically a edified version of the Lost Vikings. Basically, you can control all three Eds, but you don't control them all at the same time. <laughs> oh. Good old Woodpecker. But, um, so yeah, you so you switch between them all, and they each have their own strengths and weaknesses. Like, um, Eddie can double jump, um, uh, Ed can push around heavier objects, and Double D can tinker, tinker with certain stuff. Nope. Also, they all, also they each, um, have their own color-coded, um, coins that you can collect. I assume they're pro probably supposed to be color-coded coded quarters. <sighs> Because you know that's pretty much their whole shtick in the show. They're doing, they're trying to earn their earn whatever they can through scams. And um, so let's switch over to Double D. Oh, enticing book. <laughs> and I think that was the one thing that that sold them in that one episode where Ed was rounded. But um, anyway. Oh um, yeah. Oh, that's right. He also has common. Uh, Double D also has common sense, unlike the other three Eds. So if he sees a sign that's leads directly to a depth defying pit, he'll stop dead in his tracks. Ooh. So there's that. Does this game have full damage? Ow. Ow. No, you just get stunned. Actually, as far as I'm concerned, um, you're pretty, um, say for certain exceptions, you're pretty much a one-hit point wonder. Like oh, with dogs. Little doggy. What happens if you get hit? Uh, you lose a life. As is, the as is usually the case with these kinds of games. Uh, I guess my question Ooh. is, what does it look like? Uh, yeah. whatever it is, it makes Eddie scream in pain. But, um... Uh. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, and a retro double D oh, will be needing that later. Nice. If it weren't for Eddie, he'd be shit out of luck. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, all things considered, though, I mean, I'm. Yes, you are. <laughs> my name is Ed. My name is Ed. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, despite despite all the, the it, like the interesting set pieces to make for a pretty good Ed and Eddie game, oh, that is not what this game oh. is. In fact, I would dare say, I, I mean. If my, what I said earlier wasn't really obvious. Oh, okay, this game's, that answers my question. Uh, this game's kind of crap. 
Yeah. Like, the, th the physics, for one thing, aren't very good, and especially when it comes to jumping, like, it's so awkward for the Eds to actually reach certain uh, certain areas, unless you're Eddie with his double jump, and even then, that's pretty herky-jerky. <laughs> like, yeah, good luck trying to get that quarter as Ed. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can stand on stand on that fence, but your jump since your jump is so low, it's like you're barely given any distance. I didn't even realize that was a quarter. Yeah, they're they're all coins. Well, I assume that's what they are because they're they're collect. Yeah, they're all coins, collectible coins that you put in your jar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you, you mentioned. You... Now you mentioned the fact that you have lives in this game. Like, are there any like specific means to like gain lives? Like, is it traditional hundred coins gets an extra life, or are there other means of getting it? Um, I'm willing to bet that's the case, because I actually don't know what other other purpose these coins serve outside of being just your common collectibles. Yeah. Ooh, ow! Okay. Ow! Dang! That would have to that hurt. That's an immediate ticket down to the infirmary. Yeah. The infirmary, if Being you will. hit in the back with the top of a fire hydrant? Yeah! Like, right on your back. <laughs> Off to the infirmary! Infirmary? <laughs> infirmary? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that would would be part of a part of a uh, episode, in, like a, an episode title card? I get mm. the feeling that that's uh, actually one of their skins. I wouldn't be surprised. That they had their own. Oh, yeah, they that's actually right. had their own infirmary. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one episode. What episode that it makes me think of is that when Double D had that made up disease. What was it? Lack of Daisy Cow or something? What was it called? Lack of Daisy Cow Disease. Yeah. God, that, that must be a that must be a pretty late like late episode because I actually haven't got to that yet because um I do um, remember I've that episode been actually because it was like a I've running gag was watching. like uh, sorry I'll let you finish all right I was just gonna, nah, I was just gonna say that I've been binge watching the show that's why I decided to do a look at for this game and uh, if the title is an immediate giveaway I actually decided to show off two games because I mean I only have enough patience for this game to really give it the give it its due that's mm -hmm. fair. Anyway, that being said, um, going back to the episode Celi was talking about, I actually remember that episode because I remember one of the subplots was like Kevin was being grounded, like house grounded, and Ed oh, and yeah. Eddie wasted no time like picking as wounded. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, they were they were, they were just being they're just being di dicks to him. Poor you know dorks. And then and then at the end, I got out for good behavior. Good behavior. <laughs> And I think it was Double D who gave a, a. Okay, so they lock Kevin outside, and Double D gave Kevin the key so he could get in and pummel them. Yeah, because <laughs> that would exp you know that would explain a lot. Because like I noticed by like the later like the later portions of this the show, like uh, Double D was actually starting to become starting to turn in good favor to most of the uh, kids of the cul-de-sac. Yeah. Compared to the compared to the other heads, anyway. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, actually, now that we brought up the show, I guess. You know, because it was going to be asked sooner or later. Um, ladies, would you mind explaining your history with the show? The uh, what can I say? Cartoon Network. <laughs> well, I just meant more so like <laughs> when you got into it, how long you got into it, you know, basic stuff like that. Uh, I don't even remember when I first got into it. Uh, I all I remember is that I was a fan of that and the Powerpuff Girls. Mm -hmm. I. I know I pretty much got into the show right around its its inception, so Same. I pretty much had I pretty much had it in childhood throughout most of it. The only thing I haven't I, the only the only bit of the show I haven't really seen all that much of is the uh, pretty much the finale, the uh, big picture show. Oh, that oh, was it's something so else. good! It's so worth it. So so I hear, and, I, and I'm aware I'm aware of what happens at the end of it, oh. and it's it's nothing short of beautiful. A two M. I actually haven't seen the any any of the later and then any episodes. I think I should start watching. I've them. seen them. Some of them is an interesting thing with the later seasons. Oh, by the way, first off, this is the Misadventures for the GBA. There's actually a console version of it, which I actually find pretty interesting. And you know, if any of us still had it, I definitely wouldn't mind a look at it of the console version. But I guess right now we're sticking with the GBA. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna try doing a look at of the uh, console version. Unfortunately, uh, Dolphin hated it. No. One thing I'm thinking of from the show was, it, I don't think it was a commercial for the video games. It was either for that or this show, but I'm, tr I'm trying to look up the transcript for it right now. Like, where this guy says in a D-Boy, do not attempt to d replicate any of the stunts that Ed, that the Eds do. They are idiotic, and so are the stunts. Hmm. They're not wrong. I'm, tr I'm trying uh, to find it. That sounds like, that sounds like probably one of the, like, the first things they've ever aired. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
It was also around the time time when Cartoon Network was still was still pretty well. How should I put this? They were a little more personal with their uh, with their um with their um with their with their bump with their you know cartoon bumps and all that stuff. Like stuff that plays before the show starts. Like I was like I was like like when they actually just it looks like it was something you'd hey, that was like straight straight out of the show. Hey Blank. There you hey. go, Blank. Blank's your oh, checkpoints in this game. If I, it wasn't me, the obvious. Oh, I found it. I found it. Oh, cool. It's I found it. It says uh, if I can. Uh, if it'll load on my phone, it says... I don't know how they uh, get past garbage cans. It says, do not attempt... Use your head, re- Ed. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realize there was a dialogue. Nah, it's okay. To I be honest, I don't really mind skipping but I didn't over want to interrupt it. you guys. Nah, it's, it's okay. It says, uh, do not attempt... Do not attempt to recreate the stunts performed by the Eds in this marathon. They are idiotic, and so are the stunts. <laughs> Again, they're not wrong. Fewer brain cells than the garden nose. God. Actually, that does remind me of a recent episode I watched where um, pretty much Double D pretty much ha- up and had it with the with the with the cul de sacs um whole the, the diminishing qu- the the decline of their overall intelligence. Like you know how like you know how Eddie literally got a football and tried to fashion it up as an alligator. Oh yeah. Stuff like that. How could, how could you forget? I remember that, and he even set out like this big old um. Um, tr- I, the words on scavenger the hunt. Talk. Yeah, scavenger hunt, and that their reward was basically knowledge, and they got kind of rightfully annoyed by that. Well, that- there was also there was also the matter that Rolf kind of jumped to conclusions and, cl- and thought and thought that the prize was going to be a job breaker, mm-hmm. and uh, which pretty much let's leave us to say set Ed Netty off. Basically, Hank Ballet. <laughs> Anyway, I don't think I talked about my experience with that in any yet. Sorry, oh, yeah, we cut that's you off fine. there. Uh, what were your thoughts? I will say, I think I remember watching it, like, right, uh, as it was launched. Um, I faintly recall some episodes, though, because, honestly, my mom didn't want me to watch this show when I was younger. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. I, I mean, it- that's understandable. I mean, looking... Looking at it as an adult, it's understandable why parents wouldn't want their kids to watch that show. Yeah, it was it was basically it was pretty much like a markdown from the from the more like the more ridiculous and anar- and anarchistic qualities of like Ren and Stimpy. Yeah. And would you believe would you believe in if we live in a day and age now where it costs a dollar to just to get a jawbreaker? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought it cost a quarter to get a jawbreaker in this universe. Well, normally it does, but for this game in particular, now it costs a dollar just to get one out of those convenient little um, candy dispensers. <laughs> so I'm assuming on the top left, that's your health. Ah, sneak into Christ Egg Boys! Why must you pierce Frost Pumpernickel? <laughs> just looking for a little inside information. Catch my drift, Rolfie boy. Okay, I'd like to Ugh. the next bit if that's okay. Okay. Bell Jimmy refuses to eat poops from entering a celebration. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. That wasn't too bad. We can't let a chump like Rolf keep us from this party. We gotta get in there. Okay, now I'm starting to get the hang of it. <laughs> Why now? <laughs> oh, that was so good. I liked that. <laughs> so our first stage is called Pin the Tail on the, on the End. Oh, it's, no. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, that's actually the exact same uh, name of it in the uh, console version. Like, I think mm-hmm. uh, both the, the uh, portable and console version do share similar levels, though, given... The fact this is a GBA game, they probably there probably yeah. isn't as much. Yeah, Double it's a little bit more so condensed. creepy in this game. Oh yeah, his icon up there, he looks very out of it. And actually, speaking of the ads, I do want to say that real quick. Um, their abilities that they have here in this game, you know, like a Double D's wire balloons, Eddie stink bombs, are pretty much the exact same with how they do in the console version. The only difference between the two, I don't know if the handheld version has it, but in the console version, you could also do like these team maneuvers, like. Double D's, I think, is like they can all like form like one human tower, and Ed's is basically just re- using him as a battering ram to plow through obstacles. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this game does not have those. <laughs> I mean, kind of, kind of a missed opportunity, but. Oh my god, his face! Yeah. <laughs> yeah bear, don't Ed's just getting, getting into character. No. Aw, poor dog. Yeah, I know, that's something I did notice with the games. They're actually like. Uh, since there isn't that much opposition out there, aside from the kids of the cul-de-sac, like, they actually had to make a few, like, animals or whatnot to be the main ep- opposition that the Eds have to go through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is weird in a way, but you can sort of see where they were coming from. 
Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, I think there's not really much else you can really do aside from, again, the kids, and I guess the cankers. Oh yeah, the cankers, obviously. Mm. Uh, that being said, though, um, I was also tempted to do uh, the uh, DS game as well, uh, Scam of the Century, but I ultimately decided against it for now, because if I put, added that onto this video, this would pretty much be, like, fuck, I'd say, like, over 30 minutes long. Maybe mm -hmm. even more than that, because, like, the stages in that game are no cakewalk. Gotcha. Well, on the off chance that we decide to never do that as a video, why don't you explain it? Well, from what I remember of that game... Oh, pfft, no. ow. Apparently going oh. in the pool can get you hurt. No close end, boys, in the pool! But, um, anyway, um, yeah, uh, Scam of the Century. Um, that game's actually pretty interesting in terms of its structure. Um, there's 12 stages in total. Um, four, four of those 12 stages relegate to each end. And the whole plot of the game, if I'm not mistaken, is that, um, the kids fi ended, up find ended up finding, um, Eddie's, um, scan book that he's been using throughout his entire career. Well, well, <laughs> and, well, needless to say, they're right rightfully pissed off. Uh. So... Certain certain portions of the kids actually chase after the Eds in an, pretty much an ongoing goose chase. Like, um, in Eddie's case, he gets chased by Kevin. Double D gets chased by Roth, of all characters. He sounds like um, he beats Jawbreaker. Oh, yeah, there's also the occasion, occasional collectible Jawbreaker, which you can also get from the dispensers. This one's Slaver Candy Beats. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. That's also another thing that shares with the console version. Each of the different Jawbreakers have, like, different flavors. Yeah, it's pure. It's purely just for the sake of uh, making the collectibles oh so special, even if they're just essentially jawbreakers of different colors. <laughs> and here's Double D mocking Eddie for not knowing not knowing how to open up a goddamn umbrella, which is unfortunately something Double D himself is gonna have to do. <laughs> Again, he's pretty much he's pretty much the brains of the of the uh, of the Eds. And um, I will comment on one thing that I find kind of funny. Um, Al. Um, in, uh, Jawbreakers, out of all three Eds, Eddie was actually the most useful because of his double jump. For, uh, for the misadventures, it's actually the opposite around, uh, Eddie's actually the most useless because his main method of attacking, the stink bomb, it can't, it can, it can, uh, it can stun, um, animals, but it actually can't break breakables. And, yeah. sure, you can stun, like, stunning animals is one thing, but, um, technically, Ed and Double D can do that too, so, for the most part, you really have no reason to play as Eddie. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if they Which made that a little bit more balanced in the console version because it's been years. Since oh, no, oh, 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 no, no, dude! I'm willing to bet they they did because like the console version is the main was the main one they were working on. The Game Boy Advance one was just something they did on the side to um please oh! their crowd. Ow! And dope. Did he just step on the rake? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> have you ever have you ever stepped on a rake before? That shit hurts. <laughs> it does. So yeah, um. Uh, I mean, I didn't think they would add it in a game like this. Well, to be fair, what would count? What would not? What kind of hijinks wouldn't be in Ed and Eddie? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, there was a point where the three act, like even in like the early seasons, something like there was one of their little stunts happened, and they ended up making they actually. How uh, should I put this? They were, they ended up being butt naked afterwards. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember that. I think it was actually the pilot. Oh, oh, I remember that episode. The only one who wasn't truly naked was Double D. Well, to be fair, he had his hat on and his shirt. That's yeah, ow. his hat and uh -oh. shirt. What the? Oh, oh it's a dog. I was like, what hit you? Oh. Ah. Uh, oh. That sucks. Also, I really love like love how how like even after taking all that damage, Eddie just just slumps down. And it's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I think Double D did too. If you look closely, like it's the only one that really like fell on his face during that. Yeah, Eddie, Ed was the one that actually actually stayed to, stayed to thematics. I'll have to look back at it post-recording. That's fair. So, um, yeah, I mean, outside of this game and uh, the misadventures, um, I get, I'm, willing, I'm willing to try doing Scam of the Century sooner or later, and hopefully by then we'll have a more balanced cast. Like, maybe we can probably get Eki and Logan back into the mix. Yeah. Because they have about as much, much as on this on a meta Eddie as we do. Great! Old Shelton is blocking our way! No, no way, Dort. This is strictly invite only. Oh my god. Hmm, Kevin's hose seems to be the source of the problem, but the source of the hose may provide a solution. Double D, did double you change voices? <laughs> so, Sockhead, where is it already? 
just clear out the sack of papers in front of us? So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm Don't sorry, I can't do Double D to save my life. It's I, been... I can't do Kevin. I used to be able to do lower boy voices, but now I can't do them anymore. You know, it's, it's funny, fine. considering the fact that that, that that Kevin was Hey, I need by that! A, funny thing about because Kevin is voiced by a woman. Yeah, mm -hmm. I figured as much. Same uh, other voices, the, uh, yeah, also uh voice... Marie Kanker. Uh-huh, Kevin and Marie Kanker. <laughs> Fun can't start until Eddie gets in the house! Actually, actually, actually Mike and good. I have been having a hoot, <laughs> huh, buddy? Whoops. Everyone wants to be the Johnny. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't sure. Oh, you go. Oh, you okay, do. I'll you, be Sarah. I'll, I'll be no, Sarah. I'll do, I'll do Sarah. Oh, okay, I'll do I, now. As, okay, I, I'll do now as if you do Sarah. I, uh, well, sure. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, Ralphie boy. How'd you get here before we did? Oh, it boys. Like Nano's Patris. Ralph works in mysterious ways. Or you can so just tell me the you obvious. Like Many doors, yes? Don't tell me you're going to the party. Out of the way, Squirt. A party ain't a party without me. Sarah also looks quite freaky. Yeah, and then there's Jimmy. Uh, so, Jimmy. Jimmy, how's about letting us in the backyard so we can, uh, you know, make sure everything is up to speed and see what I mean? I mean, say what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Um, not exactly, and Sarah said... <laughs> Forget about Sarah. <laughs> And leave it to the ants to muck things up. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's not much different than what you've been dealing with beforehand. Danger. That one time when the, when the ants should have brought their swimming trunks. <laughs> yeah. And we ain't talking about those, those skin tight speedos. Or rather, speedos. Well, yeah. Then again, they technically do have their own swimsuits if that one, um... Oh, yeah, uh, River Double D had you know, yellow trunks. I forget what the other ads had. What's for this birthday party? Where are the presents? Look, guys, a levitating schnauzer. No. Who is doing Double D? <laughs> that pinata looks ripe for the picking. I'm sorry, I missed it. <laughs> All right, Double D, you know the drill. Bob goes mm, dead. Time to collect our bounty. I could hardly say that dolls were qualified as booty. <laughs> no money? No jawbreakers? What are we doing here? I love how he has like a slight twitch in his eye. <laughs> oh no, it's my sister Sarah. <laughs> Let's scram before the squirt shatters my eardrums. <laughs> yeah, that... That bitch has a hell of a rivalry between Nettie. I mean, yeah, she... And, of course, what she does to Ed is no no mystery there. Sometimes I keep forgetting that Ed's a redhead. Uh, kind of, sort of, yeah. Like, I think the only the only episode where that was very, was very evident was, like, when they try to make them all cool and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Pack my belly button with a prize. <laughs> no, thanks. What? At that point, Ed may as well just have a string attached to him. You pull on him and he says some random phrase. Yeah. <laughs> well, we just have enough money for one jawbreaker. So, how are you going to share it? A German, German jawbreaker? What does that taste like? Vodka. Oh, no, wait, that's Russian, my bad. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I remember the episode where they tried to, like, share a jawbreaker. Well, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be all we'll be showing off of the Miss Ed adventures for the Game Boy Advance. I mean, if we find a way to, sh to um, record the uh, console version, we'll definitely show that off as well. And um, like I said before, we'll probably do Scam of the Century as well. Again, get some more people on board. So, um, hope you all enjoyed. I'm James Bankstream. Hi, Wayne Princess Lita. Jordan the Cat 11. And you are all a bunch of misfits! <laughs> get out of your knickup, oops! Dorks. Bye-bye, everybody. Ha 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 ha.